We know Hawk Moth is the evil villain who latches onto people's emotions and akumatizes them to do his malicious bidding. But we also know a little secret. Hawk Moth is actually Gabriel Agress, a high-end fashion designer, and Adrian's dad. Hawk Moth has tried time after time to steal Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses, only to fail over and over again. In Season 3, Episode 12, Time Tagger, a kumatized victim arrives from the future and he drops a bombshell for Hawk Moth. You're right on the first count, but not on the second. The miraculous are not for you. <laughs> I said I was sent by the Hawk Moth of the future, but I never said the Hawk Moth of the future was you. So that begs the question, who is the future Hawk Moth? The most obvious choice is Lila Rossi, and I'm not the only one who thinks so either. Lila is one step away from being a full-blown sociopath. She's extremely manipulative, narcissistic, and lies about pretty much everything. Lila loves being the center of attention and will do just about anything to get her way. She has no remorse for the hurt and pain that she causes other people. Going as far as getting Marinette expelled from school and causing her classmates and friends to doubt what kind of person Marinette really is. And even when you think that Lila is finally growing art, she's just a big, fat liar. Lila is obsessed with power, attention, and manipulation. All these traits would make her a perfect new hawk moth. Lila is very sneaky and has already talked her way into the Gress Mansion once, not to mention Gabriel Gress is using Lila for his own personal gain. I can see Lila sneaking around the Agress Mansion and stumbling onto something that she shouldn't see. She is smart and no doubt will easily piece things together. Chloe is the classic mean rich girl. She's very self-absorbed and spoiled. She's also the reason why a lot of people get akumatized. In Season 2, Chloe is given the Bee Miraculous by Ladybug and becomes the recurring superhero, Queen Bee. However, Chloe isn't exactly secretive about her superhero identity, and Ladybug decides it'll be safer for all if Chloe is no longer Queen Bee. I included Chloe on this list not because I think that she would actually be a good hawk moth, but she's still a viable option. Chloe has come a long way from where she started, and we learned that deep down, Chloe can be a nice person. Chloe is very bossy, but she doesn't make a good leader. Although she's smart, she doesn't really think ahead, and her plans don't really work out. She doesn't like to stick things out and avoids any hard work. For these reasons, I believe Chloe would not make a good choice to fill Hawk Moth's shoes. But you never know. Chloe has room to grow, and you never know what the future holds. Natalie is Gabriel Agress's assistant, and she also knows who Hawk Moth really is. In fact, she helps him out by becoming Mayura, which, by the way, is slowly sending her to the seemingly same fate as Emily Agress, who is currently in a comatose state. Natalie has romantic feelings for Gabriel, and will do just about anything to make him happy, including sacrificing her own health and well-being. Although she is extremely supportive of Gabriel and his mission, he doesn't exactly succeed in his quest. I wonder how long she will follow him before she gets tired of the constant failures. I'm not saying I think that Natalie will turn on Gabriel, but I do see her swiping as miraculous and attempting to fulfill his goal as act of true love. Emily is Gabriel's wife and Adrian's mother. To the rest of the world, she just simply went missing. But she is actually in a comatose state, hidden safely under the Gress Mansion. We don't know a lot about Emily and who she is as a character, but according to Adrian, she seems like a really sweet and caring person. We also know that her current state was caused by the Peacock Miraculous, which is broken somehow? The question I have, and maybe it was already answered in the show, 
What exactly was Emily doing with the Miraculous? What was she using it for? She obviously used it enough to put herself into a coma. As much as I want to believe that Emily is a sweetheart, what if she isn't? Or what if she comes back as an evil version of herself? As far as we know, in the future, Cat Noir and Ladybug still have control over their Miraculouses. So if that's true, how could Emily possibly be the future Hawkmoth? Tough question, but it's possible. Emily could just wake up from her coma on her own. I know Emily as a future Hawkmoth is a far-fetched theory and most likely won't happen, but I included her anyway just in case. Felix is Adrian's cousin, and they look like identical twins, but that is where the similarities stop. Felix is the exact opposite of Adrian. He's like the male version of Lila. Felix has only appeared in one episode, so we don't know a lot about him, but I have a feeling that we will see him in future episodes. Felix is very sneaky and a good liar. He tricks Adrian and steals his phone. He also takes control of situations. We see this especially when Felix takes the akumatized tablet and speaks directly to Hawkmoth to make a deal, something that we just don't see every day. He also has fast fingers as he swipes Gabriel's ring when shaking his hand. He could easily steal Gabriel's miraculous if he finds out his secret or blackmail him or something, because we all know how sneaky and evil he is. Those are the main characters who I think could have a shot at becoming the future Hawk Moth. Obviously, some of them are a better fit than others. I also have two other ideas, but they aren't really well formed, so I'm just going to briefly mention them. The first one is Audrey Bourgeois, Chloe's mother. She's a very self entitled and demanding fashion director. She also has a professional relationship with Gabriel Agress, as she claims she's the one that discovered his talent. How she would discover the miraculous and take control of it would be a mystery to me. The second one is Master Fu. That's right, THE Master Fu. He's one of the good guys and was the guardian of the miraculous. Although he made some grave mistakes in his past, he has a good heart. He was also a mentor for Marinette and gave good advice. We could always count on him. However, he lost all of his memories after giving Marinette the miracle box. And now he just lives a normal life. It would be quite the twist and a huge stab in the heart if Master Fu, a kind and gentle soul, somehow returns and becomes a cold and destructive hawk moth. It would be almost ironic if the same person he fought so hard to dismantle and defeat would be the same person he ultimately becomes. I really hope, however, and this is just my personal opinion, that Gabriel Agress continues on being Hawkmoth. Although we have several options to replace him, Gabriel Agress is Hawkmoth. Even though he isn't successful in the end, he's really the only person who I can picture being Hawkmoth. And like Natalie said herself, the future is not set in stone. So what do you think? Do you, also like me, hope that Gabriel continues being Hawkmoth? Or do you think someone else will take his place? And if so, who? You reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do plan on making more videos in the future. Let me know what you would like to see, and I will try my best to get to it. Have a great day, and bye!